At the outset, let me thank Nibian and AOS for this wonderful opportunity of presenting this very important topic, flux in complex situations. These are my financial interests. As you all know, flax has become a very, very important tool for all of us. Apart from the regular cat tracks, I feel that flax is something which you can use for white cat tracks, hard brown cat tracks, posterior polar cat tracks, subluxated cat tracks, patients who have got fuchs endothelial dystrophy, neither here nor there cat tracks, that is called NHNT, shallow AC. You know how the artificial intelligence is becoming very popular in diabetic retinopathy and glaucoma detection. Can a computer perform better than a human brain? Obviously, the computer can do better than a human hand, I would say. There are many missions in the market which are available. Catalyst, the LensX, the Lens AR, the Victus and also the Zemer. <laughs> I'm using the Catalyst system. I don't have any financial interest. But how do you compare flax with the manual FACO? The manual FACO is like Sachin Tendulkar. He can, he is good only in one format. Where flax is a very versatile technology. Like Mahendra Singh Dhoni, he can play T20. He can play one day international. He can do a very good test match as well. So that is the versatility of this technique, which I want to uh, drive home. It's a very important in, uh, in this topic. And uh, what are the adv other advantages of flax? Incision, the main port, the side port, LRI, the perfect rexis, nucleus liquefaction, complex situations like white cataract, as I told you, brown cataract, PPC. The safety of the femto cattle is something which is phenomenal. The precision is something which is incredible. The accuracy is also excellent. The predictability is also very, very good in this machine and faster recovery and of course a bladeless technology which you can market for your patients as well. What is the problem with the hard brown cataracts? The cataracts is uh, very difficult to crack the nucleus because of the leathery attachments. Thin posterior capsules, increased incidence of corneal edema and post-op corneal decompensation. You need to combine the technology with the technique. The technology is available to you. You see a brown cataract like this, it's like a piece of granite. You have do a conventional manual FACO, you can end up in a cornea like this. And if you do a femto, you can give a, get a crystal clear cornea, mainly because of the amount of energy, which is very, very less spent on this, uh, in these eyes, uh, in the anterior chamber, and uh, FACO energy. The fragmentation settings, uh, I'm uh, in hard cataracts, with vertical spacing 25, the horizontal spacing 10, with the segmental soft, uh, the spacing is about 200 micron. Pulse energy is about 8 or 10 millijoules. Just to show you how in a grade 3, 4 cataract. So the advantage of the flax is that already the rexis is there, which is about 5 or 5.1 millimeter, whatever size you want. And then you can see here, I'm <clears throat> the, the pre-chop of the nucleus is also there. I'm just separating the nucleus or the posterior nucleus plate using only a Sinsky wood. I'm not using a sharp chopper or even a regular chopper for that matter. And you can see how the, the whole, the um, posterior nuclear plate completely separates. That is the biggest advantage of this uh, flax uh, technology. And the very fact that the gas bubbles are coming from there, you can see the rest of the, uh, the cataract uh, is like a child's play for you. And now then you inject viscoat into the anterior chamber. Just to show you, there's another patient who's got a hard brown cataract, grade four, grade five, I've made the main incision with the flax machine and also the side port incisions as well. You can see the cataract rubra, which is very, very typically of this, uh, of this cataracts. And you can see how the rexis is already done. You can see the fragmentation of the nucleus, the softening of the nucleus also, which makes your life easy in this hard brown cataracts. So that, that is the biggest advantage in a flax uh, uh, technology. You can see here, I'm just going and burying, there's no trenching required and uh, I'm opening up the posterior nuclear plate because it's already well separated. I need to go in the crevices or in the areas which are already chopped and uh, are cut by the flax, uh, by the femto laser. You can see how beautifully it is opening up and very nicely it's opened up. 
and you don't have to use much FICO energy at all. Combine this with the cold FICO technology, which is available in all the uh, machines now, uh, whether you use Osril or the longitudinal FICO or the White Star, doesn't matter. But it makes your life easy. You can see there's a black cataract just to show you how I'm <clears throat> just doing a trenching in a manual FICO. The amount of, uh, see, uh, FICO energy which is uh, delivered. Again, the black cataract, I'm using a flag of flags again. Uh, Rexis, um, uh, which is the, which is already done for you, you can make uh, the Rexis a little larger also, depending on whatever you want. Uh, in this case, you can see here, I'm just chopping that cataract uh, into smaller pieces and uh, see how beautifully it is opening up the posterior nuclear plate and uh, the gas bubbles are coming from the posterior side, which means that the cut has gone, the femtolaser cut has gone all the way into the posterior nuclear plate. And that is the biggest advantage. You can see here consistently, you can deliver clear corneas and pristine wounds in all these prone cataracts. And this is one of the biggest advantages. The second advantage is uh, patient with the corneal gut data. If, if you have sick cornea and especially a hard brown cataract, like this case, you can see here this is a sick cornea, corneal gut data, and the endothelial cell count is probably less than 1,000. You can see it on the specular microscopy. And how beautifully I'm able to uh, do the rexis uh, easily because of the, the flags with the femto and also the uh, pre-chopped cataract is also also there and that is one of the biggest advantage because I'm using less fake energy and uh, the whole thing is uh, over in a jiffy and uh, uh, the I don't have to spend much time I don't have to spend much fake energy less heat build up in the anterior chamber uh, uh, or in the posterior chamber as well for that matter and you can see the post-operative despite the uh, flag the cornea being a sick cornea, you can see how the the, uh, the uh, cornea is clear up beautifully. Post ops uh, seven days, crystal clear cornea as well. Just to show you uh, a patient who's got a subluxated cataract, you can see uh, this is a subluxated cataract, and uh, because of the shuttlecock injury, the biggest advantage of a shuttlecock uh, of the sub subluxated cataract, because problem with the, with the subluxated cataract is doing a rexis because there is no peripheral resistance. In the flags, if you have, see, I did a flags for this patient. You can see the rexus is already done. You can see the cuts. So you don't underestimate the versatility of this flags patient. In a mature cataract, as long as the OCT recognizes, you can go and uh, uh, and you can see her how uh, beautifully it, uh, the one of the biggest advantages of this uh, uh, thing is uh, the subluxated cataracts. You can see a small pupil. Uh, also, the flax uh, is very good because it cuts beyond the excess margin. It's not very small, less than 5 millimeter. I don't do normally flax, but uh, around 5.5 or 6 millimeter because my excess size will be around 4.5 or uh, 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 a little more than that. The advantage is because the excess is there. The, uh, the cutting of the pre-chop is there, softening of the nucleus is there, and it cuts beyond the margin of the rexis as well. In hard cataracts, reduce surgical time, reduce effective phaco time, more precision, clear corneas. Just to show you that in a white cataract also, the flax penetrates. You can see here, the penetration of the white cataract, you can see how beautifully penetrates. In this patient, I'm able to, I'm doing a multifocal or a toric lens in this particular patient. How beautifully uh, the uh, the uh, the rexis. Only thing is, look for skip areas in a patient who's got a very, very mature cataract. And in an intermittent cataract, like the type of an intermittent cataract, Argentina flag sign is a very common problem. It can be a serious problem. Uh, you can see that this is a foolproof method. If you do the flax in these patients, 100% of the time, or even 200% of the time, you can see that the Argentina flag sign doesn't occur. Only thing is, look for skip areas, and sometimes there can be a small uh, what do you call uh, uh, joints there, you need to make sure that you do a small rexis there. Many times it's a free-floating rexis as well. Again, posterior polar cataract, this is a go-to technology as far as I'm concerned because the advantage of the intraoperative control is much better and you can just see at the angle of the posterior polar cataract, I'm able to do that and I'm able to uh, 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 remove the, uh, of course, it's a very soft cataract as well and you need to follow all the protocols in a posterior polar cataract. And that is the biggest advantage. You can see a plaque on the posterior capsule and doing a plaquectomy as well. Again, another patient with a posterior polar cataract. How I'm able to do the rexis, everything. The rexis uh, 
size, whatever size you want, you can go in and just pick up this nucleus. You don't have to rotate this nucleus. Rotation, as you know, is avoided in a posterior cataract. And the intraoperative control is very good. And I also, also have an offset. Normally, I have an offset in the posterior capsule of 500 microns for regular cataract posterior. I shift it up a little bit. I keep it around 900 microns. Again, these are the cataracts with the neither here nor there in between cataracts. Flax is probably the best because advantage is that the excess is there and cutting of the nucleus is there because these are cataracts very difficult to crack, very difficult to suck, very difficult to chop as well. And these are the uh, neither here nor there cataracts or NHNT cataracts, wherein the flax is probably the best way to go. And <clears throat> the take home message is flax in complex situations. White bone cataracts, hard bone cataracts, posterior polar cataracts, subluxated cataracts, sweep endothelial dystrophy, NHNT cataracts, safety, precision, bladeless, consistency, wow effect, good platform for marketing, differentiates your practice. Thank you again, AOS, for the wonderful opportunity.